Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a big Monday on FIFA 23, especially inside of Team of the Year, because today is the day that I expect EA Sports to start dropping upgrade packs, specifically some of those Team of the Year upgrade packs that so many of us are looking forward to doing on a repeat during Team of the Year to give ourselves the best shot at packing Team of the Year cards. Now, we're not looking to open those packs today. No way. There's only the midfielders that are in packs. We're looking to open more of those later on this week when the full team and potentially honorable mentions come into packs. But the SBCs might be dropped today, and that's what I want to look at, how you can still prepare a club last minute and what to expect. And just a little bit of uncertainty as well around these upgrade SBCs that could be dropping today. Also a part of Monday content, we could see an 83 times three midfielders pack while this one goes away, the attackers pack. We'll talk about that and the 12th man vote. That's a lot of team of the year content coming today, as well as a lot of market movement ahead on this game. Fodder went up a lot yesterday because of the 88 plus pack. We'll talk about that. And one part of the fodder market still looks a bit investable to me. We'll cover that as well in this video. And of course, tell you why I have like zero coins. Bought a lot of cards yesterday. Like we talked about in last night's video, the market dipped. I'm hoping for it to rise a bit more today. We'll talk more about that in this video as well. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these upgrade packs because one year ago today, EA Sports dropped upgrade packs in Team of the Year in FIFA 22, and they were exactly the ones that we wanted. The premium Premier League, and well, not even just Premier League, the premium upgrade packs, those are the ones that we really want, guys, because that gives you 12 players from the same league, three of them being rare. This is where the craft, where the rubber meets the road, basically. This is the SBC that we want. All top five leagues, since we have a player from each league in Team of the Year, and probably more in the honorable mentions that will come out later this week. These are the SBCs that we're looking for, right? There's a premium upgrade and a lower tier upgrade, right? Last year, the lower tier upgrade was three gold players, one rare. And guess what? Good news. That was a pretty good SBC to craft into last year. Good. The good news is those packs are back. If you take a look at the pack code that Foot Scoreboard uploaded a couple of days ago, these three League One players packs, it's the exact same thing as last year. Three players, one rare from all of the top five leagues. Hopefully those are dropped today, as well as what we saw last year, the premium Premier League and top five league upgrade SBCs, right? One for each specific league. Now, this is why we've been saying buy the gold rares. These will probably just require 11 gold rare players, not league specific. That's how they've been in the recent couple of years. You can still do that. I believe gold rares on the market right now are still with weekend league rewards being paid out, people opening a few packs here or there. Gold rares are still basically discard price, 650. You can get them on bid. This is going to be like kind of one of the last uh, calls before gold rares probably start to slide up in price just a little bit after these packs are released in the game. Even though not a lot of people will be wanting to open these upgrade packs like today, if these packs are dropped today, which I think it's a very, very high likelihood that they are, you will start to see people go out and start to build them and craft them before later on this week when most people will start to open them. Now, with the upgrade packs coming today, there is one thing that I'm a little unsure about, um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm uncertain, guys, because we looked at this pack code, right, for the three-player packs, but these premium SBCs, I don't know if they've actually been added to the code yet of this game. Now, if we look back to last year, like I said, literally last year on Monday, this is from FIFA U Team's website. They've got all the content that was out during Team of the Year last year. We got all these last year. We got the premium and the three-player upgrade, right? Here's the premium upgrades. Um, and there's the midfielder upgrade, like we're probably going to get today as well. There's the premium SBCs and the regular ones. But as so, so far this year, I was trying to just look through the SBCs we've seen this year. I don't think we have had any sort of the league specific upgrade packs like these, the premium ones at least, dropped in the game. So that's a little bit kind of concerning to me because I don't know if they've been added to the code and it was a while ago and they just haven't been talked about recently, but these were just recently added to the code. I really hope they either add the premium upgrades to the code or they've already been in and I completely missed it. I don't know which one it is. Maybe we'll have to do some hunting and go back and look in the pack code um, or anything along those lines. But these are the packs that we need. If we don't get these packs and we only get these, which I don't see happening, I do believe EA Sports would drop these as well. Um, that would be crazy and, and crazy not good. So just watch out for these upgrade packs to drop today. They still could drop like an 81 plus double as well. Um, and the reason why we believe it's today is because they did it last year and Mondays are just always the days where they kind of drop 
the upgrade packs. They've set that precedent. So if you haven't stocked the club yet, I would focus more on the rares, but I'd focus on the non-rares as well, right? Focusing on rares and non-rares should probably um, fill up your club if you haven't already with some of these. That is if you have coins and you want to do a lot of upgrade packs, because again, later on in this week, later on as we get towards the weekend, gold rares will be upwards of a thousand coins, maybe even a little bit higher than that. If we get those premium upgrades, just because people will be spamming upgrade packs like crazy. So those are the big upgrade packs that we should expect to see today. Now, like I mentioned, the 83 times three tackers upgrade is going away. I would expect that to be replaced with the 83 times three midfielders upgrade since now we have the midfielders in packs. Last time around, that SBC required an 83 rated squad and it also required an 84 rated card. So 84s, although they're already pushing up, could go up a little bit further and 83s are probably gonna go even higher themselves, which is why in the beginning of this video, I mentioned a potential investment still on one piece of the fodder market and that is once again 82s. I believe 82s at 750 or 700 on bid are a really good option. I do believe just like they did last week, they will probably get up to around 1,000 coins a piece at some point because we're going to have these 83 times three packs that will be out. People will be crafting other SBCs. I mean, we might have other stuff drop during the week that could require 83 rated squads. I think that the 82s are a pretty safe buy as 83s keep going up and up and more 83 rated squads are going to be required, especially if you have an 84 rated player in that squad. You only need a couple of 83s, well, about six 83s, and then you need like what? 482s and then your 184 rated player or something like that to get it done. I do see 82s going back up to a thousand coins like they did last Friday um, on this game. So if you want to invest in some of those, I think that potential is there as well. Now, speaking of SBCs, let's talk about what happened with this 88 plus, right? We're going from today back to yesterday to talk about fodder for a bit more. This is a 230,000 coin SBC, which is cheaper than what I thought it was going to be, especially after EA added the prime icons into this. But a lot of people are doing it because you see the thumbs up here, 74% thumbs up, good value, right? And that's got 86 rated specifically going crazy. The 86 index yesterday jumped like crazy. These guys were all 20,000 coins around the content drop. Now they're back down a little bit, uh, which is kind of interesting to me. People opening packs, right? We've had lightning rounds. We have weekend league rewards. So it makes sense to have cards come down a little bit from that spike. But this icon pack is again repeatable tomorrow on Tuesday. So a lot of people, in my opinion, with the upgrade packs that are going to be out and people just loving doing to do these packs uh, in general, Fodder might have another spike later on this week, especially if we have more SBCs. We've got other icon, team of the year icon SBCs that are leaked. We've got the flashback Pogba that is still out there. Of course, we had the end of an era Gareth Bale yesterday. That's worth talking about as well, right? So much demand on the fodder market on like 83s, 85s, 86s, and, and 84s as well in that lower tier range because of Bale and the 88 plus. I think that fodder prices could go back up and even go even higher later in the week, just depending on the card rating, of course, but especially in the 86 realm. Like if you were selling these at 20,000 coins, I think they will get back up there. And maybe if you're interested in buying them at 16K again, you might be able to sell them at 20,000 coins again later on this week because that's how high they were in the peak of that 88 plus being dropped yesterday on Saturday. Now, the high tier market didn't move that much. 91s are still 63, 64K. 90s are still about 53,000 coins. It was in, again, centralized into that low to mid tier fodder market. Informs have started to go up as well. Not a lot, but a little bit on those informs since they were required. If I had informs, like, well, I do have informs, but if I had golds, I would look to sell the gold cards before the end of the week for sure. Whether it's 82s all the way up to like 86s, 87s, I would look to sell those then. But if I had informs, I would would be holding right informs more of a long-term play we talked about that in yesterday's video but fodder is up because of that demand for that 88 plus icon and ggs the ea for making it honestly a pretty cheap and pretty affordable sbc but something that i don't want to do right now because i don't want to drain the club of fodder as much as i possibly can because the focus is again on the team of the year packs and i have no problem skipping this sbc because i know that this next weekend ea is going to drop another one of these it's going to be craftable and i'll be crafting something along these lines while i'm opening up so many of the team of the year upgrade packs like i said hopefully dropping today on this game now of course with that pack dropping we had a lot of movement on the market like Nate where in the world are your coins at right now I bought a lot of cards to trade with and to flip yesterday on this game because that was one thing we talked about in the video is if there was going to be some panic selling on the market 
I wanted to get involved because this market is very healthy right now. A lot of people are playing this game. There's a lot of gameplay demand for Weekend League with the extra rewards that were out there. And a lot of prices dropped yesterday and some of them are starting to rebound already super fast, kind of like we expected, right? When you get a big time SBC, we talk about this all the time. This is one of the most, I would say, consistent ways to trade weekly on this game. It happens at least once a week, sometimes twice or three times. You get a big SBC, like an icon pack or a hero player pick, People have to panic sell cards from their team to afford the SBC to get it done, right? And what that does is it causes a dip in prices on the market. And then cards that are rare and popular in meta end up skyrocketing right back because people go out and buy them for their teams. Case in point, this Hakimi, right? Take a look at his graph. 500,000 coins yesterday before the SBC dropped. Boom. SBC drops all the way down to 460 and then skyrockets back up to 500,000 coins just because he has a rare card. He's in demand with the Ramos SBC that is out. PSG links in general right? That's a perfect example of how you can trade weekly on this game. And I knew that sort of situation was going to happen if an 88 plus pack was dropped and it absolutely did. Now, not all cards are going to rebound the best, right? That Hakimi is an example of a card that did absolutely amazing. Some cards dropped down in price and really didn't rebound that much. This Casemiro was like 220,000 coins, I believe, 223, went down to about 205, but he's only back up to about 215. So he's if you bought him at 205, you're not even making coins right now because you have 10,000 coins of tax. That's the biggest thing you have to factor in here. And, you know, just look at cards that dropped off the biggest percentages in the shortest amount of time to buy some of those, right? I bought some Romero's uh, at 230, 232K, a couple of them, because I knew that this card is in a lot more demand right now because of the Emmy Martinez that is available via objectives, right? With that Premier League and the Argentina links. That's very, very nice for a lot of people that still have Argentina players in their squad. Uh, maybe they have the Acuna, maybe they have the Correa, the Enzo Fernandez, the Di Maria, right? There's still a lot of those links that are popular in this game. So that's why I went after the Romero card. And I just bought a bunch of cards from all these different out of packs promo teams that went down a lot. Now, some cards are still a little bit low. And that's another option that we can look at for today. If you're wa waking up and watching this video, kind of check around the market and maybe find some low cards like this Sancho 293. That might be a little bit of an undercut. But yesterday before content, he did reach highs of 324K. The market is still very healthy and I'm still like in a lot of these cards for short-term flips. Again, it's a short-term kind of flip situation where you're buying the card, holding it for less than a day, and then selling it for more later on. Uh, just like in yesterday's video, we bought Ben Yedder for 340, sold it um, for 370, right? Above 370. He's back down again. I'm kind of staying away from him tonight, I think, but that's a card, you know, uh, that you could probably trade with. The Varadi card, 589,000 coins. He was like 620, I think. Was he 620 yesterday? 623. So this being like 580 where it is now, if I saw this and got an undercut at like 570, because you have a lot of tax here, 30K of tax, which is the only problem with a card like this, that's the kind of way that I'd be trading right now on the market, right? Because there's a lot of demand, 589. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to get a bid or a couple bids right here, right? That's what I'm gonna have to do to try to make a coins on a card like this. I also only have 598K, so I can only buy one. But that's what I'm gonna be doing. I think the market will be really healthy today. I think there will be a nice Monday market rise per usual on most of the meta market. And I think even after content today, if all we get is the upgrade packs and the 83 times three, probably we'll see the market even rise up a bit further just because that's what the market normally does on Mondays. And if there's not something to cause panic like there was yesterday, market will probably continue to go up a little bit. Let's talk about these team of the year midfielders because yesterday a lot of a lot of us on the stream were trying to time this and look for a low point. Now, I didn't have any coins because I, had, again, I bought a lot of cards for those quick flips. Jude Bellingham, who just got undercut right there at 2.1, Jude Bellingham is skyrocketing back up in price. He was all the way down to 2 million coins. These guys dropped late into the night, Sunday night, um, and now they're finally rebounding back up. Kevin De Bruyne was 2.4 million coins. This Jude Bellingham was 2 million coins flat. He's now back up to about 2.2 mil. Modric was about 1.2 mil or just... Um, just above 1.2 mil. So I missed out on some potential flip opportunities here. You see, Modric is back up to about 1.4. I could have bought Modric at 1.2 lows, sold him here in the 1.4 range. You know, trading off of this rarity would have been very, very nice yesterday, but I opted for um, just kind of like the mass buy play. I thought it was going to be able to make more coins off of that, which I think I probably will. But these guys have hit some low points and they're starting to rebound back up. And uh, honestly, the midfield 
Jude Bellingham looks like a nice card. Kevin De Bruyne's card looks pretty good. Modric, I think people are not that um, happy with. Um, Modric is definitely going to be the cheapest midfielder out of this promo team. Uh, I would not be surprised if this Modric is like a 700, 750K, 800,000 coins, maybe 750 uh, come the end of this week because he just looks a little underwhelming. The work rates didn't change on his card. Still a great card, don't get me wrong. But in the concept of team of the year, it's just not that amazing. Now, Jude Bellingham's card looks really, really good. I think I might have undervalued him a little bit because uh, in my price predictions video, I think I said that I, I imagined Jude Bellingham was going to be somewhere around uh, like the low 1 million coin range, but EA gave him a bigger boost. Like for a 95 rated card, that is an insane card. Only two stats under 90. Looks absolutely mental. So GG's to EA for a proper boost on Jude Bellingham. De Bruyne's card looks really good as well. Um, and I think that all of these will continue to drop off later in the week. But if you're trying to get one for the here and now, one of their lowest prices we might have seen uh, earlier this evening with these price drop-offs that they have. Just be very careful holding on to those because they probably will not go super duper high. And if they rise up before Thursday at all, it would be very quick and very short-lived. Your other team of the year cards, uh, Benzema is pretty rare. He was almost 2.2 mil earlier today. Like if I was looking to buy a Benzema, if I saw like 2.05 Maybe this morning on Wednesday or uh, Monday morning, I would get interested in trying that out. Uh, but Messi is up a little bit. Mbappe is up a little bit. These guys are probably going to peak today or tomorrow. And then we'll get lower again towards the end of the week. That's how we expect it to be for the team of the years. And the team of the year icons as well, they continue to be very high in price and very inflated. They do fluctuate a lot. Like this Zanetti sometimes goes down to like 980k. And then we'll rebound back up to about 1.1. Pirlo, Vidic, like all these guys are fluctuating a lot on the market, but their lowest prices were definitely on like that Friday night, Saturday time frame where they just got really, really low. So the market's a very healthy place. Consider it very good to trade in right now uh, and easy to make coins. If you're trying to make the last few, maybe a couple hundred K before team of the year starts or just maybe an extra 50 K that'll sponsor you an extra couple upgrade packs, right? Once we get into that kind of mindset with the grind. Now, a couple other things to watch out for today on Monday. First thing is this is a little bit of a leak from a couple days ago, uh, but I expect it to be true. We also had this last year on Monday at the start of team of the year. We had the 12th man vote. The leaked players in it are Valverde. Erling Holland and Joao Cancelo. So watch out for some sort of like player pick today. They'll give you a loan version, which will be your choice, right? Might be a one game loan. Um, I don't know exactly how they're going to do this, um, but watch out for a team of the year 12th man vote today with the um, winner probably be re being revealed or leaked on Thursday and then impacts on Friday. So watch out for that. And the other kind of piece of information that we might, or piece of content actually, that we might see today on this game is a Twitch Prime pack. So for all of you guys that have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, get that link up sorted. Come to the stream, drop, drop your Prime sub and get your free pack, right? Link that up on your uh, Twitch account and then boom, you will be able to get a free pack today. And other than that, I mean, this Monday today, I don't expect it to be a really bizarre Monday. Like yesterday was probably a crazier day on Sunday with the 88 plus pack and the midfielders dropping in packs than today will be. I don't know about any player SBCs. I know the Pogba is still out there. I don't expect the Pogba today. Could it happen? Yeah, it could happen. But I feel like that Pogba, just like Varane was last year, I keep making that reference, but it seems to be so true. I think Pogba is going to be a 1 to 1.2 million coin SBC. He's probably going to drop on like Wednesday or Thursday, sometime a little bit later on in the week. We will have to see. But that's going to be the video for me, for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you are new. Happy Team of the Year hunting with these packs and start crafting if you're going to be opening a lot of upgrade packs during Team of the Year. I'll catch you guys later. It's been Native Foot Accountant. Peace out.